Danny Trainer here to talk some weather. Where? What, where? Right here. I know him. You do? Yes. You know him well? I hope so. Yeah. Um, I think we had a pretty nice Christmas, don't you think? It wasn't bad. It could have been worse easily. I mean, a lot more clouds, a little less sunshine. Yeah. There's a lot of things. Could have rained all day. A lot of things. So warm is not a big problem because it's a way we also attract money to the state of Florida that in the form of right. tourism. Those of you visiting our area, yeah, this is a little above normal. It should be about 72 degrees, which is extremely pleasant. Gives us an opportunity to wear sweaters. You know, because we can. Uh, but I, I, got, I got the gang together here. Now, watch Nigel. This is like the really poor man's river dance, right? Okay, now watch, watch what Nigel's doing here. All right, okay. But Nigel, anyway, he's out of control. Uh, tomorrow, everybody's going shopping. You know, going to be some big sales tomorrow. Candy. Yes, yes. I want to show you uh, some little sunset we got going here. New Smyrna Beach, a beautiful sunset on the New Smyrna on the river. Beautiful. Thank you, Florida. Let me show you what else is going on. Rain. Some of you on along the coast probably had to deal with this. Speckles were coming in at times. Had a pretty good shower move through parts of Daytona Beach. Saw some stuff try to move in in parts of Brevard County. Anyway, bottom line is, there you go. Look at that. If you're getting some rain, wow. Look at me. I got rain envy because, you know, I could use a little bit more on my lawn. It's a little crispy. When you walk across the lawn, it crunches. Okay, so what are we going with this? Again, I think this is gonna be an ongoing, omnipresent kind of situation where the showers keep coming in off of the Atlantic Ocean. Not unheard of, not uncommon, nothing to worry about. Well, patchy sunshine for tomorrow, hot again, and then staying warm until, until, now you gotta hang on till I get to the seven day forecast when the things are gonna change. 83 today, normal's about 72, and the record was 86. It was way back when, Last year, uh, got a little frontal boundary trying to push down, getting close to the area. Saw all that bad weather moving through parts of the Great Lakes, and some of that is going to be pushing on up into Canada. Not a big problem for a small craft. Caution tomorrow. I think there are going to be some big bumps out there. Here's the way it will shape up. We are watching things overnight. This is not a big deal, but you start to see more of the speckles and things like that coming in off the ocean as we push through the remainder of the day. I'm going to put the chance of rain tomorrow at about 20%, so, you know, act accordingly. If you want to go to the beach, 80 degree temperature in the air, but 67 in the water. The boating forecast, a little bit of caution. Got some choppy things going on. Took it in the bays. This is the reason four to six foot seas out there. Tonight's temperatures. 66 degrees up around Sanford, 66 in Palm Coast, 70 in Melbourne, 63 in Ocala. And here's what we're doing overnight. 65 winds out of the northeast at 5 to 10. Here's what's going on tomorrow, hour by hour. Your forecast brought to you by Dell Air Heating and Air Conditioning. Let's take it up to 80 degrees by noon and 83 by 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 76 degrees by 6 o'clock in the evening. Now, now that the family's together, let's all watch the seven-day forecast. <laughs> Here, you can see I've got 83, 83, 81. Where is that cool I was hinting at? Here it comes. Friday, Thursday, we start getting a little bit nicer there. New Year's Eve looks good. New Year's Day may have about a 20% chance of rain. So all in all, uh, it's okay. You know, it's enjoy the weather. It's the only weather we got, you know? That's right. Uh, Jamie's not Could here. Could be worse. No, Jamie's no. not here. No. Jamie's not here as no. that guy. That other guy. We'll get to that other guy in just a second. First, we have tonight's winning lottery. Now